everyone. So, basically, there was another GameStop termination. And I'm hoping it's the last one. Because each one is really starting to get to me. And I've gotten a few comments on the other ones. And people are showing a lot of support. As well as other people expressing their opinions which I totally respect. So, one of my friends, he got terminated yesterday from GameStop. And we both knew that he was going to be terminated. He and I did. Because the week before, they said that if he didn't get numbers, then he would finish out the week. That's how they clearly stayed. So, Amazingly, he actually got some numbers. But when this week came around, he did it. And that was it. He was termina terminated because of subs and resos. Nothing else. Now, I've known this person for a while. And he's gone to a lot of different stores. He's been borrowed because he's really good at what he does. He knows how to keep track of the store, clean the store, and make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. He's like the uh, the ultimate inventory person. He's a really good person when I was working with him. Great person to work with. And the only reason he got fired was subs and resos. Um, if you're a customer and you've heard about these, a subscription is basically when you subscribe to Game Informer. A magazine tells you about the games that are coming out. Coupons inside that help you save when you have a GameStop card. And a reservation is basically putting money down for when a game is going to come out in the near future. Now, here's the fun thing. Let's say this person is helping you out. Can't, you can't find a game. He looks and looks, and guess what? He finds it for you. It took him maybe seven, ten minutes. This is a game you really want. He found it for you. Awesome. He totally was there for you, you know. And if not, he would have called other stores. He did everything he could, and guess what? He found it for you. And then he asks you if you want to buy a subscription or a reservation. You're like, no, it's okay, but you know what? This guy did such a great thing for me. I'm going to come back here every time now because I know this guy really cares about me and not about the sale. Well, guess what? Since he cares so much and he does that to each customer, the customers are satisfied. But if he can't get you to, if he can't persuade you to get a reservation or a sub, technically speaking, he didn't do his job. Now, how does that work? This doesn't sound right now, does it? Technically, if all you guys came into GameStop, a lot of you, and just said, no, that you don't want the reservation just because that guy would get yelled at later on. Or heck, he might even get fired because he couldn't get something out of you. Doesn't sound right now, does it? Well, it doesn't sound right to me either. But that's how they work. <clears throat> I don't like it one bit. And I know that if I stayed at him, for a while longer, I probably would have gotten fired. You know, and I did everything I could for customers, but you know that's not the point. The thing is, why should be we? Why should anyone who works for a store like that feel afraid to lose their jobs for something that they aren't technically supposed to do? You know, um, subs and resos aren't really um, part of the job. Um, how you see? They're not part of the job. They never were. When you got hired, you weren't hired to get sales and resos. You were hired for sales. So you're helping people on the floor. You're helping people find what they need or you call other stores. Take care of inventory, and that's it. That's all you do. Sales and resos, when they hire you, they're not like asking you about these things. And plus, 
It doesn't even say in the book. Um, there's an actual handbook to GameStop. I don't know, maybe one day I'll post it up. But um, technically saying they can't fire you because of um, not pushing on a certain thing. They can't. You're doing your job normally. The subs and resos are bonus, just in case you're wondering. They're bonus things. <coughs> uh, it just sucks. I, I really... I've had it with me. And, and I don't work there. I, I haven't worked there for since April. And yet I'm still angry about this. You know? And that's the funny thing. It doesn't happen just to my friends. It happens to everyone. It happens to everyone all over the place at different game stops. And you can come up with all these different reasons. Oh, they had it coming. Maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. That's not the point. The point is that a lot of people are getting fired for things that maybe they aren't doing. A lot of people. We're not just talking 15 people. We're talking like hundreds. Okay? And that's why it doesn't make sense. And of course, they're hiring the people who can get resos and subs out the customers, which would be you guys. Sadly to say. So when you go to a GameStop store, they're always going to ask you, do you want to reserve a game? Here, take a look. These are the games that are coming out. They're always going to do that. And again, if they can't get you to reserve their game, or to, if they can't get you to reserve a game, then they're the ones who are going to get in trouble. Again, it doesn't sound right. It doesn't. Why? Right, how? <laughs> what kind of place can you go into where they try to persuade you? If they can't persuade you, then they're fired. Ultimately, that's what it comes down to. If you can't persuade the customer, you're fired. You can't get me this, you're fired. I thought it was about all about helping the customer, not helping ourselves. <sighs> but let me just point out that it's not the employees, okay? The employees are not the ones doing the bad things. It's the people who are above the employees. Not the manager, the one above those. Those are the ones who are sending these orders down. And of course, no one wants to lose their job. So the managers enforce that, and then everyone else falls into place, trying to get these reses and subs for you. Because of course, they don't want to get fired. I don't think anyone does. But that's the whole problem. And when I used to work at GameStop, I really didn't want to ask people about resos and subs. Because they were forced upon me. Before, I would ask people normally. And I wouldn't push them or anything. If you wanted it, you did. If you wanted a game that was going to come out, sure, I'll help you out. But I wasn't pushy. I wouldn't beg or try to persuade you to get that. Not at all. But now, that's all they want. And it sucks. It just sucks. So if you're going to reserve a game, you know, I would say reserve it somewhere else. Yeah, there's other stores with game stuff. There are. Uh, Toys R Us, that used to be one of the biggest game stores. Not video games, per se, like toys as well, but you can probably reserve there. Of course, there's KB Toys, and, well, I'm a little hesitant to say Game Rush, and, cra and Game Crazy, and places like that, because they're almost the same thing, but, well, I don't know about them, but, you know what, if they let you reserve games, then go for it, just, don't do it at GameStop, please don't, anyway. I guess that's it for now. It just really bugs me that they can do this to someone, heck, to many people, and get away with it. They shouldn't be able to. Going to their stores and reserving games and getting subscriptions from them, just, it just shows them that they can do that. You know, that 
as long as you say yes, that they can keep asking you. Because you know if they push hard enough, you'll give in. And that's it, and that's what it's all about, them making money. Anyway, um, again, this is just my opinion. It's how I think of GameStop. I know some of you might not agree, and I respect that. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. So, um, I'll talk to you guys later. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them. Um, see you guys. Take care. And I might have a blog about Comic-Con since I'm going there on Thursday. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. Take care. Bye.